Hello again, my friends. Eric Pearson here, and it's time to answer another email. Let's see what we have today. Here's a challenge for you. The next time you're transporting stuff, try landing like a regular airplane, assuming your destination has a runway, of course. Sincerely yours, Curtis Paper 94. Curtis, I accept your challenge. I shall bid one Bolina class transport to this endeavor. Well bargained and done. <laughs> Sorry, folks, I couldn't resist. The fact is, I am thoroughly impressed at how the Chapman brothers were able to parlay their experience on Homestar Runner into successful careers in television production. So, bravo and well done. So, this little bit of parody aside, we're going to demonstrate a conventional aircraft-style landing in Frontier Pilot Simulator. Let's get to the video. Okay, so here we are on the tiny little landing pad of Bori, out in the middle of the ocean. I'll call it up on the map. We're here, and in answering Curtis Paper 94's challenge, we're going to land like an airplane on the airstrip here at Port North. Now, I learned that if you click on a city on the map, you can see everything that is available at the city. You can see what resources they need, what resources they have, any passengers to be picked up, and also various things that you can buy for upgrades and ships. Now, unfortunately, as much as I zoom in, I can't get a good view of the actual airstrip. But through a lot of trial and error, I've learned that a good x-coordinate is 14765.3 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the map northward a little bit and I'm going to put a waypoint out about here at 14765.3 so I'm going to and you can see the coordinates in the center top of the screen so 14765 may not be perfect but close enough so I'm gonna do a right click here that'll give me time and space to make any adjustments if I need so I'm going to exit out of the map I have my waypoint selected and ignition I'd also like to point out that since the last video I produced, I have upgraded my Bolina ship even further with the EVO2 engines. So that should give us a little more response and speed. Alright, so we are now in airplane mode. And I'm pointed at my waypoint on the map. We have a passenger aboard, one Thomas Wendison. He wants to be dropped off at Port North. We're running a little behind schedule because I wanted to take off from Bori instead of his original destination. One challenge is that since the Bolina doesn't turn very well, it's very difficult to do go-arounds. You want to line up your approach very carefully if you're going to land in airplane mode. So, we're flying along pretty well here. Now, I'm using this island that we're flying over as a landmark. This gives me a sense of where I am and how I want to line up. And if we look at the map, we're coming in at a pretty good rate of speed. So here's where I want to start making adjustments. I also want to mind my airspeed. In fact, I'm going to back the throttle off a little bit. I don't want to rise too high because uh, I don't want to have to do too steep a descent. Yes, I know some military aircraft do what's called an assault landing, but if you're not careful, that can really mess you up. I want to try and come in 
as close to the edge of the runway as I can. Now I'm going to hit Y on my control pad. This gives me a sense of what the wind is doing and if I look at my trajectory marker I'm already a little further to the left. Okay, we're, we're doing okay. Let me get out of this. Okay, I'm lining things up. I'm turning into the wind as best as I can. Doing something of a crosswind landing. Back off the throttle a little more. It's not going to be perfect, but good enough. Alright, backing off the throttle. Backing off the throttle. Zero throttle. And... Okay, this is going to be a little tricky. A little tricky. Touch down, touch down. And we did it. A little tricky, but well done. All right. So. Okay, so I'm going to fold up my wings and start slowly taxiing to the airport. And Mr. Wendison is asking me to take him to the landing pad. And that's fine. We'll get there. So while we're taxiing along, let me pan the camera around, get a view of where we're at. There's a very large cargo ship nearby. Again, I love the visuals in this game. And while we're taxiing along, I want to bring in some parallels to the real world. Now, the landing that I just set up was done thanks to a whole lot of practice and trial and error. It took a lot to get that right. But in the real world, pilots make use of special charts to plan their approaches to the airport, how to line up for a landing, and what to do if weather or other conditions force them to go around. And these charts are known as approach plates. And here's a picture of one from Wikipedia. And it contains a lot of shorthand telling pilots what to do as they come in for a landing. They have access to this. This game doesn't. So that's why I had to line things up as best as I could and hope for the best. It wasn't the most ideal landing, but as the old saying goes, any landing you can walk away from is a good one. And another curious little fact is we came in kind of sideways. It often happens that aircraft have to do what are called a crosswind landing, where they have to turn into the wind to account for gusts of wind blowing sideways across the runway. In fact, the B-52 bomber has special landing gear that can be steered left and right to account for that. So the airplane could be pointed several degrees off the center of the line of the runway, but the wheels themselves will be straight down the runway so that when the bomber does finally touch down, it will roll down the center line of the runway. And the pilots have a special dial control to set the wheels at the, at the appropriate angle. Okay, so, Mr. Wendison wants to be let out, so, okay, here you go. Thank you for flying, Pearson Airlines. Alright, so we've done it. So, Curtis Paper 94, I have answered your challenge. We've done a full aircraft-style landing. So thank you very much for watching, and join me next time as I do more videos of Frontier Pilot Simulator. Eric Pearson, signing off.